Hello everyone, it's Ashwin Rao. Today's video brings you my collection of Carmina shoes. You might as well call this my collection of Carmina Shell Cordovan shoes because essentially all of my pairs from Carmina, save one that I'm not showcasing here, are Shell Cordovan. So I wanted to take you through this collection because I think many of you are interested in Carmina as a brand, certainly as you're entering the more high end of uh, classic menswear and welted footwear. I think Carmina is uh, emerged now as probably the preeminent high volume shoemaker at the mid to upper tier uh, in classic menswear. Carmina uses Horween Shell Cordovan as the base for their leather. Horween is the gold standard for Shell Cordovan. Now there's many others out there, Shinky, Merriam, Chloe, um, Rocado, and others who are doing a great job with their Shell Cordovans, but Corween remains a standard. And Carmina, as a result, has gained quite a bit of traction as one of the preeminent makers of dress shoes featuring Shell Cordovan, certainly in the Goodyear welted segment. As you can see, these two pairs are long wing bluchers, heavily brogued open lace system derbies, Let's start with this guy. This is the long wing blucher built on the Oscar last, which is a more rounded toe last, really well suited to this particular model. You can see the contrast natural edge dressing and Carmina's proprietary studded rubber sole and a Horween Navy shell cordovan that you can see here. Keep in mind I use pure polish products to clean up all of my shoes. And this leather is actually a little darker than what is represented on the screen here, but you can see the undertones of blue and this beautiful shell, which is known for its rolls rather than its creases. This has a storm welt folded over and a 360 degree Goodyear welted construction. So it goes all the way around the shoe. Now the rest of these colors are reminiscent of each other. They're all more or less belonging to a family that includes color eight, color four, and color two. There's also color six, which is quite rare. What I have here, and you can see the majority are this mid red brown color, which is color four, which is in certain circles considered a more rare shell cordovan. But as you can see, I've been able to acquire it and Carmina occasionally features it. Here again um, is a, another long wing blucher that you can see here. And you can see this beautiful shell cordovan in color four and how well it catches light, how it changes color. Again, you see this natural edge dressing, but in this case, a 270 degree flat belt. This is a design of my own styling. Um, so the first two I purchased on the used market. This I purchased on one of Carmina's customization weekends. The slight contrast stitching on the upper on this two eyelet plain toe derby. This is the 907 model of the derby, one of my favorites because it has such a clean profile. Uh, just a beautiful look here. And again, shined up with pure polish products. I also initially got this with a Carmina leather sole, but then decided to apply this Vibram 2540 rubber toppy and a toe plate done by Busy Shoes here in Seattle. Gives me a little bit more of an all weather flair. This is a quarter brogue, almost has Adelaide stylings to it. And here you're seeing this red hatch grain leather, which if you're familiar with uh, today's enthusiast community, you've probably come across. This is the JF and J Baker Russian hatch grain leather. But again, you see the embellishments here with the toe cap and the facing done with the color four shell as well as the heel counter. You can see this is a slightly tapered heel block and a slightly rounded toe, almond shaped toe. This is their beautiful, probably my favorite last from Carmina, Inca last. Um, just a beautiful makeup and my only, one and only, quote unquote, spectator style shoe. This is called Ruby Shell Cordovan in Carmina's nomenclature. Some have called this color two shell and I believe they're the same, though I will leave it to others to confirm that. 
but this beautiful ruby shell cordovan done on this plain toe um, Adelaide with a medallion and built on the Simpson last in this case. You can see this beautiful sole, the JR sole adorning the bottom of this shoe. And this red is just such a rich, uh, reddish brown with a strong uh, inclination towards the red color spectrum. There's one other one that I wanted to feature, and that is right here. This is a hatch grain shell cordovan in bourbon color from Carmina, built on their Inca last, which is that almond shaped last, as I mentioned. And beautiful, well styled shoe with a chestnut edge dressing. And this is their unlined shell cordovan Chelsea, which has this unique styling on it. it has a joint right here, the stitching along the front facing, just a slightly different variation on the Chelsea boot than I had seen before. And so I wanted to pick this up. My collection of Carmina shell cordovan shoes and really my entire collection of Carmina. Wide range of styles, Goodyear welted constructions, and uh, hard to argue with designs. Um, you will see occasional issues with, um, for example, the choice of the cut of the leather that might be used. You might see some issues with the welting. You might see some subtle issues, but usually those are not enough to really stand in the way of enjoying the shoe. They're a generally dependable, high quality shoemaker using really nice lasts and really nice leathers, adding to which you can do quite a bit of customization. So the best of many worlds, and they seem to have their business model tapped down. I will say that they run a ton of sales, so keep an eye out for their customization weekends. You can usually knock off 10 to 20% of the cost of the shoes or waive the MTO fees at the very least. You may also want to check out their outlet section, which features a number of models that, if they have them in your size, can be quite appealing. Anyways, hope you're all doing well, and I will see you on the next video.